Hello everyone, my name is Seema Pankhtimani. Welcome back to Seema Modules. Today we will be recording a video lecture on topic known as Lease Accounting. Lease is an agreement which is entered into by the owner of an asset with the intended user of the asset in return for a payment or series of payment for an agreed period of time. So what is lease? Lease, in simple words, if I want to understand what is lease, lease is nothing but a rental agreement where a person or the owner allows the right to use asset to another person. So suppose I am the owner of the asset. What I am doing is I am giving right or I am allowing other person to use my asset. I am giving right to other person or I am allowing other person to use my asset. So I am known as lesser other person is known as lessee. So lease is an agreement which is entered into by the owner of an asset with the intended user of the asset that is lessee. So owner of the asset is lesser with the intended user of the asset that is lessee in return for a payment or series of payment for an agreed period of time. In return for a payment or series of payment for an agreed period of time for an agreed period say one year, two year, three year, four year for a payment lease rentals. It is a transaction which gives the lease, it is a transaction which gives the lessee the right to use an asset for a specified period of time. So it is a transaction wherein uh, uh, the lessee give, uh, gets a right to use an asset for a specified period of time. It is to be noted that noted here that the definition of a lease includes agreements for hire of an asset which contains a provision giving the hirer an option to acquire title to the asset upon fulfillment of an agreed conditions. These agreements are commonly known as higher purchase. So we have uh, higher purchase and we have lease. So it is to be noted here that the definition of lease includes agreements for hire of an asset which contains a provision giving the hirer an option to acquire title to the asset upon fulfillment of certain conditions. So if you want to go for hire or, uh, hiring the asset, so you'll have to fulfill certain conditions and after fulfilling those conditions, you can go for it. These agreements are commonly known as hire purchase agreements. In India, accounting for lease is covered under accounting standard AS 19. So this entire chapter lease accounting is governed by AS 19. Objective, objective of AS 19 is to prescribe appropriate accounting policies and disclosures in relation to finance, lease and operating lease. So what is what, what are the objectives of AS 19? Okay, what are the objectives? The objective of AS 19 is to prescribe appropriate accounting policies. I want to give appropriate accounting policies and disclosures in relation to finance. Okay, I want to I want to give good I, I want to answer my users of financial statements. What are my accounting policies related to lease? What are disclosures in relation to finance lease and operating lease? So there are two types of lease, finance lease, operating lease. There are two parties to lease, lessee and lesser. I am the owner, so I will be known as lesser. The person who takes on rent, that person is known as lessee. Applicability. AS 19 should not be applied in accounting for all for the below terms, AS 19 is not applicable for below terms. So who, it is applicable to everything, but not for these three points. Lease agreement to use land. No, it is not applicable. AS 19 is not applicable. Licensing agreement for items such as motion picture films, video recordings, play menu scripts, patents and copyright. So where you have now how technical fees, royalty, there AS 19 will not apply. Lease agreement to explore for or use natural resources such as oil, gas, timber, metal and other mineral rights there also AS 19 will not apply. It is related to depletion. Then we'll go for important definitions. The following terms are used in this standard with meaning specified. A lease is an agreement whereby lesser conveys to the lessee in return for a payment or series of payment the right to use an asset for an agreed period of time. A finance lease. So what is lease? Lease is an agreement whereby lesser conveys to the lessee in return for a payment or series of payment. A lease is an agreement. Okay, I agree. I am owner. I agree to take certain amount of money as a lease rentals. 10,000, 10,000, 10,000 or series of payment 
and I will give right to opposite person to use my asset for a period of time, say two years, three years, four years, ten years. Finance lease is a lease that transfers substantially all the risk and reward incident to ownership of an asset. An operating lease is a lease other than a finance lease. A non-cancellable lease is a lease that is cancellable only upon the occurrence of some remote contingency. So we have finance lease. What is finance lease? A finance lease is a lease that transfers substantially all the risk and re re rewards incident to ownership of an asset. It will transfer all risk and rewards. Operating lease is a lease that is not a finance lease that is other than finance lease. So anything related to my business that is operating lease. A quick read till here, I'll take a pause, then we'll go for non-cancellable lease. Then we have non-cancellable lease is a lease that is cancellable only upon occurrence of some remote contingency. So non-cancellable lease, whatever happens, even God comes down, I will not cancel that lease. That is non-cancellable lease. Okay, but, but if there are any remote contingencies, then I'll have to cancel. With the permission of the lesser, I'll have to cancel. If the lessee enters into a new lease for some same or an equivalent asset with same lesser, then I'll have to cancel. Upon payment by the lessee of an additional amount such that at inception, that is at starting, continuation of lease is reasonably certain. The inception of the lease is the earlier of the date of lease agreement and the date of commitment by the parties to the principal provisions of the lease. Okay, inception means the start point. A quick read, then we'll take next. Lease term is non-cancellable. Lease term is a non-cancellable period for which lessee has agreed to take on lease the asset together with any further period. So what is lease term? It is non-cancellable period for which lessee has agreed to take on lease the asset together for a certain period for which lessee has the option to continue the lease of asset with or without further payment. Which option at the inception of the lease, it is reasonably certain that the lease will ex the lessee will exercise. So lease term, what is lease term? It is non-cancellable period for which lessee has agreed to take lease, asset on lease. So suppose today I have agreed to take asset on lease for two years. So for two years, I cannot do anything. It is non-cancellable period. Further period for which the lessee has the option to continue the lease of asset with or without further payment, which option at the inception of the lessee, it is reasonable certain that the lessee will exercise. Minimum lease payments are the payments over lease terms that the lessee is or can be required to make excluding contingent rent, cost for services and taxes to be paid by reimbursed to the lesser together with in case of lessee, any residual value guaranteed by or on behalf of the lessee. So we have minimum lease payments. Minimum lease payments are the payments over the lease term that the lessee is or can be required to make excluding contingent rent. So what is minimum lease payment? Minimum lease payment means required. That is the minimum amount which I need to pay. Contingent rent to cover to make excluding contingent rent cost for services and taxes to be paid by reimbursed to the lesser together with in case of lessee any residual value guaranteed by or on behalf of the lessee or in case of the lesser any residual value guaranteed to the lesser. So we have minimum lease rentals. So what is minimum lease payment? Minimum lease payment is nothing but they are the payments over the lease term that the lessee is or can be required. Minimum amount of lease payment. It's not to chayye hi chayye. Minimum amount of lease pay, uh, payment. That is the minimum. Over and above, you'll have to pay contingent rent. You'll have to pay this tax. You'll have to pay that. That, that is different. But minimum 2000 to pay karna hi padega. In case of lessee, any residual value guaranteed by or on behalf of the lessee. And in case of lesser, any residual value guaranteed to the lesser by or on behalf of the lessee or by an independent third party financially capable of meeting this guarantee. 
However, if the lessee has an option to purchase the asset at a price which is expected to be sufficiently lower than the fair value at the date, the option becomes exercisable that at the inception of the lease is reasonably certain to be exercised. Minimum lease payment comprise minimum payment payable over the lease term and payment required to exercise this purchase option. So that is all about minimum lease payment. Let us go for fair value, economic life and useful life. So what is fair value? Fair value is the amount for which an asset could be exchanged or a liability settled between knowledgeable willing parties in an arm's length transaction. Okay, the machine which we are purchasing, we are using it on lease, value of that machine is 5 lakh rupees. Arm's length price means market price, arm's length transaction. Similar machine, agar kisi aur ke paas hai, wo 5 lakh mein bech raha hai. So that 5 lakh rupees is my arm's length transaction. So if you want to buy, instead of lease you want to buy, you can buy it at 5 lakh rupees. That's the fair value. Economic life is either the period over which an asset is ex expected to be economically usable by one or more user the number of production or similar units expected to be obtained from the asset by one or more users. Then you have useful life. A uh, useful life of the leased asset is either the period over which the leased asset is expected to be used by the lessee, the number of production or similar units expected to be obtained from the use of the asset by the lessee. So we have economic life. Dus saal to chalega. Usme se useful life. कुछ भी कर लो आठ दस आठ आठ साल तो निकाल ही लेगा आराम से without any cost okay then we have residual value residual value of leased asset is the estimated fair value of asset at the end of lease term a quick read will I'll take a pause and then we'll go for next one then we have guaranteed so we completed a uh, residual value that is the scrap value the final value at the end the value which you get then we have guaranteed residual value is in the case of lessee that part of residual value which is guaranteed by the lessee or by party on behalf of the lessee so we have guaranteed residual value what is guaranteed residual value itna to milega he scrap in case of uh, in case of lessee that the part of uh, residual value which is guaranteed by the lessee or by a party on behalf of the lessee and in case of lesser that part of residual value which is guaranteed by or on behalf of the lessee or by an independent third party who is financially capable of discharging the obligations under the guarantee. Unguaranteed residual value of a leased asset is the amount by which the residual value of asset exceeds its guaranteed residual value. So we have guaranteed residual value. Guaranteed residual value means what? And unguaranteed residual value means what? So they have explained you the formulas. If you see, they have given you the formulas. Financially capable of discharging the obligations under guarantee. So we have in case of lesser, the, the, that part of residual value which is guaranteed by or on behalf of the lessee or by an independent third party who is financially capable of discharging obligations under guarantee. And we have unguaranteed residual value of a leased asset is the amount by which a residual value of asset amount by which a residual value of asset exceeds its guaranteed residual value that is unguaranteed residual value so suppose residual value is a thousand rupees and guaranteed kuch bhi ho jai, so to milega hi milega so thousand minus five hundred five hundred is your guaranteed residual value cross investment in lease is the agree, aggregate of minimum lease payment under a finance lease from the standpoint of the lesser and any unguaranteed residual value accruing to the lesser. So gross investment in the lease is the aggregate of minimum lease payment, aggregate of minimum. So whatever you have minimum lease period, uh, minimum lease payment, you sum up everything, you will get gross investment in lease under a finance lease from the standpoint of lesser and under unguaranteed the un unguaranteed residual value accruing to the lesser. 
unearned finance income is the difference between gross investment in the lease and the present value the minimum lease payment under a finance lease from the standpoint of the lesser any unguaranteed residual value accruing to the lesser at the interest rate implicit in the lease so we have gross investment in the lease unearned finance income then we have net investment net investment in the lease is the gross investment in the lease less on earned finance income so if you see here they have given you the formulas gross investment on earned finance lease income net investment they have given you the formulas so uh these formulas are helpful for our sums we have numerical sums also in 2016 syllabus they had given little extra sums compared to 2022 syllabus we don't have much sums here i have completed total net investment in this lecture from interest rate implicit in the lease i'll take from next lecture i'll take it from here in my next lecture i hope you are comfortable with this lecture we have completed basically few terms or uh, what what are what is lease what are what is lesser lessee financial lease operating lease uh, then non cancellable lease so most of the terms and applicability we completed under this lecture i hope you are comfortable with the lecture thank you